Hello everyone. My name is Sunil Shah and uh, today I am going to talk about how to plan a good career if you want to study your master's program in the US. You know what is the right way of planning that particular career? I have made an effort to make this video specifically for the students of third year engineering. Uh, could be the fifth semester students or the sixth semester students. You know these are the best students or this is the best time to start you know planning for a master's career in the US. It's been a tradition particularly in cities like Mumbai and Pune that engineering students start their preparation for their GRE in their third year. It is more like a trend now but you know people fail to understand the reason behind starting it in the third year. There are lots of advantages and if you are very uh, what I can say if you are very clear with those advantages then you will be in a position to make use of those particular advantages. What I want to say is you know if you are buying a particular product and if you know all the features of the product then you can use the product in a more effective way. Similarly if you know exactly why you are starting in the third year of engineering then you will do a few things very deliberately and you will get better results. Many students who start in the third year engineering start because their friends tell them that okay this is the right time to start or their seniors have started at that time so that is the time. Many a times I ask engineering students why are you starting with your engineering program in the third year and they look at me and they say what do you mean why it is to be done in the third year which is a good sign I am not denying on that particular thing but beyond the mechanical decision of starting in the third year there is no strategy. Today in a very small discussion I would like to tell you your strategy behind starting these preparations in the third year. Let's go step by step. Okay, There are three important steps in planning for a master's program in the US. The first step is a test preparation step. Okay, When you appear for your GRE and TOEFL. Of course you prepare and appear for GRE and TOEFL. The second step is the application step during which you select your universities, you make an application and things like that. And obviously the third step is the visa application step when after getting the admission you are enrolling for the visa. For each of these three steps I will explain to you how starting in the third year of engineering can make you into a better applicant. Let's look at the GRE preparation stage. Assume that you have started during your fifth or the sixth semester of your engineering. Mind you, your applications are going to go during the final year from the October to December period, right? So you will be applying for the universities during October to December of your final year for an admission into a next year. If you have started your preparations in the third year, then you have something like a window of about 18 months if you have started in the fifth semester or at least 12 months if you have started in the sixth semester to appear for these tests. Now you will say that it doesn't take more than 3-4 months to prepare for the test. So why keep such a long gap? There are many advantages. If you feel that your preparation is not up to the mark and you know the trainers will tell you that look your, tra your training is not complete or your performance is not up to the mark. You can always take a gap without wasting a year. So if you have started during the third year of engineering and within 3-4 months if you are ready you are good to take the test. The results are valid for 5 years so you have nothing to worry about. But suppose something goes wrong or if your semester exams come close or there is a marriage in the family or you know your uh, uh, any other reasons are there because of which you are not in a position to prepare then you can take that kind of a gap you know. So first of all starting in the third year of engineering can keep your GRE exam date a very flexible affair. Very very rarely it happens but it does happen that you take your GRE first time and you get with a very low score and you think that you can improve upon your score. If you have started in the third year of engineering you have time to do all that kind of thing. If you have started late then taking a GRE twice may result into you know delaying your going to the US. And that's the reason why one because of flexibility and two because of getting a chance to appear for GRE again. Starting in the third year of engineering is a very very advantageous situation. Now that's about the tests. Now let's look at the application process. This is something which most of the engineering students ignore completely. The advantage of starting in the third year results into a major enhancement of your application packet 
which you make in the fourth year. You will ask me how. I will explain. You can select your final year engineering project based on the major that you want to specialize in. Like for example, if you are a PhDC guy and you want to do digital signal processing in your masters, then you can pick up your final year project in that particular field. You can do a lot of extracurricular and co-curricular activities during third and fourth year which are specifically aimed at impressing the admissions committee of a US university. I mean whichever third year engineering students come to me, the first advice that I give them is maintain a wonderful portfolio of extracurricular and co-curricular activities. Now you have time to do all that kind of thing because you have come to me right in the third year. If you come to me after your engineering or if you come to me during the final year of engineering, even if I want you to do you know, extracurricular and co-curricular, where do you have time? So in the third year of engineering when students come to me, the first advice that I give them is maintain a very healthy extracurricular and co-curricular activities portfolio because that impresses American universities big time. Now these are the advantages during the applications process. You have two years of your time to better make an application. You can select your final year engineering project based on the area of interest that you have or vice versa. You can select a program based on the final year engineering project that you have done. You can take your GRE you know, more seriously, more flexibly during that particular thing. Now that's the strategy part of starting your preparations in the third year of engineering. Now let's look at some of the other advantages like if you come to me during the final year of engineering or after engineering or during the third year of engineering, the fees that are charged to you is one and the same. So sometimes I have students who complete their engineering come to me and say, Mr. Shah, I have not got any placements. So place me in an American university as fast as you can. I charge them 25,500 for the whole package. And a person who is coming to me in the third year of engineering, who has a two year window to work with me, to work with the training department, to work with the applications department, is still charged 25,500. Now you tell me, even if you are taking a membership of a gym, you know, a six months membership for 25,500 and a two year membership with 25,500, it makes a lot of sense to go for a two year program. During those two years, not only academic in relation to applications to the US, but academics in India also, the advisors can advise you as to what to do, what not to do. Another advantage which is you know more uh, uh, specific is if you concentrate on your GRE in the third year, you can concentrate on your CET or CAT in the fourth year. You know because CET and CAT has a limited validity, GRE has a five year validity. CET and CAT can be taken only in the final year. So if you also postpone your GRE to the final year, then you are talking about appearing for CET, CAT and GRE, which doesn't make any sense to me. Particularly CET and CAT are so much competitive that if you are also pushing in your GRE preparations into that, you won't do a good job. And that's the reason why, you know, I always tell wherever, whichever colleges I go or whatever newspaper articles that I write or these kind of small videos, my advice is very simple. If you are very serious about getting into a good university for a master's program, start in the third year. Prepare very well for your GRE. Don't worry about the date because you have flexibility in your hand. If first time GRE score is low, keep enough time to take GRE twice. Use these two years to develop a fantastic portfolio of extracurricular and co-curricular activities. Select your final year engineering project very, very wisely and align your master's program along with this, you know, uh, project. Take advice of the career advisors at fact, you know, essentially on every single academic aspect. And during the final year, after the applications are made, you know, you are free to look at your CET and CAT preparations. I think if you follow this particular routine in a very disciplined manner, I am sure you will have a wonderful time, you know, uh, making your career plans absolutely clear. So that was my advice for the third year engineering students. I think if you start during the third year, that is the wisest of the thing that you can do. Have a great career ahead and if you need any if you have any difficulties, do get back to us and we will answer your questions. Thank you. Bye.